your legs crossed, your spine tall, eyes closed. Fold your tongue backwards so that the underside of your tongue presses up against the roof of your mouth. Breathing in and out through your nostrils. Each time you inhale, engaging Mulavandha. As you exhale, releasing Mulavandha. by chanting one time OM together. If you'd like to join in, you can. Inhale deeply. center. Exhale, bend to your left side, gazing under your left arm. Inhale, back up to the center. As you exhale, take your arms behind your back, interlock your hands, and then pull your chest open taking your thumbs and your knuckles on the floor, lifting up your chest, lifting your gaze up. And on your next exhalation, bringing your forehead onto the floor, gazing at the tip of your nose. Inhale, come up. Keep your right hand behind you. Raise your left hand up. And as you exhale, take the back of your left hand outside of your right knee and twist and look over your right shoulder. Each time you inhale, lengthen through your spine. As you exhale, twist deeper to the right.
On your next inhalation, take your right arm over your head, stretching the right side of your torso, gazing underneath your right arm. On your next exhalation, take your back of the right hand outside your left knee, so your arms cross, and then bind your forearms, bind your hands, gazing at your third eye. Breathing in and out through your nostrils as you inhale, engaging Mulavanda, exhale, release, tongue folded. And then release your arms, change the cross of your legs so your other legs in front. And now interlace your fingers with your other index finger on top. Chin lock, turn your hands inside out. As you inhale, raise your hands up and exhale here. Inhale, lift your chin, looking up at the back of your hands. On your next exhalation, bend to your left side, gazing underneath your right arm. Inhale back up to center. Exhale, bend to your right side, gazing under your left arm. Inhale back up to center, exhale, take your arms behind you, interlocking your hands, pull your chest open, taking your thumb and your knuckles on the floor behind you, lifting your head, lifting your gaze up. On your next exhalation, fold forward, taking your forehead on the floor. Keeping your hands locked behind you. Inhale, come up. Keep your left hand behind you. Raise your right hand up, and then as you exhale, taking your back of the right hand outside your left knee, twisting to look over your left shoulder. Each time you inhale, lengthening through your spine. As you exhale, twisting deeper to your left. On your next inhalation, take your left arm over your head, gazing underneath your left arm, stretching the left side of your torso. Exhalation, take the back of your left hand outside your right knee so your arms have crossed over and binding your forearms, binding your hands, gaze towards your third eye, squeezing your armpits.
release. Take your hands behind you. Place your feet on the floor, knees bent, hip distance apart. And then take your buttocks towards your hips as you exhale, as you inhale. Lift your hips up, taking them as high as your knees and your shoulders. Keep your chin in your chest, Jantha Bandha. Ears at the tip of your nose. Bring your hips back down onto the floor. Stretch your legs out to the sides. Remove the flesh from your buttocks and remove the flesh from underneath your legs. Inhale, raise your arms up. As you exhale, take your feet if you can with your hands and bring your forehead towards the floor. If you're not quite able to reach your feet, just take your hands on your legs wherever you can and remain with your spine upright as you can. If you've been able to fold forward, each time you inhale, try to find more length through your spine as you exhale, folding deeper. If you've not quite been able to reach your feet yet, see if with each breath a little bit more space has been created that maybe you can walk your hands a little bit closer towards your feet but still maintaining that length for your spine. On your next inhalation, raise your arms up. Exhale, release your arms. Use your right hand to grab the inside of your right knee, Bending your right leg, taking the foot to the inside of your left thigh, then turn your chest to face towards your left foot. Inhale, raise your arms up. As you exhale, right hand first over your left foot, then left hand on top. Bending your elbows, taking your hairline or your forehead towards your left knee. Gazing at the tip of your nose. Again, if you're not quite able to reach your foot, just taking your hands either side of your Left chin, keeping your spine nice and straight. Making sure your chest is turned toward your left foot. On your next inhalation, lengthen through your spine, lifting your head up. Then take with your left hand the outside of your left foot, but take your left elbow to the inside of your left leg. Then open your right arm out behind you. Take your right arm all the way over your head and stretching, stretching out towards your left foot. Again, if you've not been able to quite reach your left foot, just take your left hand onto your left shin and just opening your right arm out over your head, feeling the stretch on the right side of your, tr your trunk. Gazing underneath your right arm. On your next inhalation, lift your right arm up, lifting your body up. Exhale, release. Change your legs, right leg goes out. And then bending your left knee, taking your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Square your chest towards your right foot. Inhale, raise your arms up. As you exhale, left hand over your foot first, then your right. Bend your elbows towards the floor, taking your hairline or your forehead onto your right knee. Again, if you were not able to quite reach your foot, just taking your hands on the floor, either side of your right shin, keeping your spine nice and straight. Looking at your toes. If you're all the way folded forward with your head on your knee, looking at the tip of your nose.
On your next inhalation, lengthening through your spine, lifting your head up. Then with your right hand, hold the outside of your right foot, take the right elbow to the inside of your right leg. Bring your left arm out behind you, taking the arm all the way over your head, stretching your left hand towards your right foot, gazing up underneath your left arm. If you are not able to reach the foot, just taking your hand onto your, your right hand, onto your shin, taking your left arm over, feeling the stretch on the left side of your torso. And then inhale, using your left arm as a lever to lift yourself back up. Exhale, release and crossing your legs over. Inhale, come up to a standing position at the front of your mat with your big toes together and a small gap in between your heels. Take your hands in the Namaskar Mudra, the prayer position at the center of your chest. On your next inhalation, raise your arms up to the sky. Engage your glutes as you exhale, arching back from your upper back. Inhale, lifting out of your ribcage. Exhale, arching back a little more. Looking up at your thumbs or your third eye. Make sure you keep your glutes firm. And then inhale, lift your hands back up. As you exhale, fold forward, taking your hands on the floor. Four, taking your hairline towards your knees, arms straight, legs straight, gazing at the tip of your nose. If it's too much for you, you can bend your knees if you have to. On your next inhalation, step your right foot back on the ball of your foot. Hover your right knee just above the floor, but don't quite let it touch the floor. Lift your chest up away from your thigh. If it's not possible to stay on your palms of your hands, you can come on your fingertips to make it a little bit more manageable. Looking up at your third eye. Now take your right foot sideways with the toes a little bit turned inwards. Straighten both your legs, left hand on your left foot, raising your right arm up as you inhale into the Uttita Trikonasana, gazing up at your right hand. If it's not possible to reach your foot, just take your left hand onto your left shin, looking up at your right hand, trying to turn your chest and your hips to face towards the right side of your yoga mat. Steadily in and out through your nostrils as you inhale, engaging Mulavanda as you exhale, release, unfold it. On your next inhalation, bend your left knee as you exhale, reach your right hand onto your right ankle, and as you inhale, swing your right arm and circular movement forwards and upwards, lifting you into the Vira Badrasana. If you need to lengthen your stance, you can. Turn your fingers to face up and push through the heels of your hands so that you can feel a stretch going through your arms all the way through the center of your chest. Keep your hips faced square towards the right side of your mat, gazing towards the right side of your mat, just having a soft gaze. Your left knee is bent above your left ankle, right leg is straight. And now from here you have two options. Either you take your left forearm onto your left thigh and you bring your right arm over your head, gazing underneath your right arm. Or otherwise you take your left arm underneath your left leg, 
Turn your right arm inside out, taking your thumb inside of the fist. Bring the right hand behind your back and hold your right wrist with your left hand. Then lifting your torso up away from your left thigh and revolving your chest towards the sky into the Baddha Parasvakala. So this is a more complicated one. On your next exhalation, both hands on the floor, either side of your left foot. Come on the ball of your right foot, and then inhale. Raise your left leg up behind you, gazing between your hands. Keep your right leg bent, stay on the ball of your right foot, and keep your left leg straight. As you exhale, Take your left foot on the floor so you come into the plank position with the eyes of your elbows facing towards each other. Keep your thighs strong, keep your glutes strong, keep your abdominal muscles strong. On your next inhalation, take your knees on the floor, arch your back. Upward facing gut, Urva Mukha Manjadhyasana. As you exhale, take your chest and chin on the floor and hold the breath outside, gazing at your third eye. Keep your hips up. Inhale, Cobra Pose, Bhujangasana. Exhale, deeper into the asana. Looking at your third eye, each time you inhale, try to lift your chest, creating more length in your spine. As you exhale, arching back a little deeper. On your next inhalation, taking your belly on the floor, but try to keep your ribcage off the floor. As you exhale, raise your hands into Sadhasana. Gazing at your third eye, breathing in and out through your nostrils. Keep your back muscles strong. Inhale, take your hands on the floor. Come up onto your knees, toes tucked under, and round your back as you exhale into the Adhomukha Marjariyasana. Hold the breath out, take your hips towards your heels, gazing between your hands, no breath. As you inhale, lift your knees off the floor as you exhale, come into Adhomukha Swanasana, downward facing dog, gazing in between your hands. Try to lengthen through your spine as much as you can. Now you have two options. You can either inhale stepping forward your feet between your hands, or you can inhale jump your feet between your hands and as you exhale taking your hips towards your heels. Then inhale, straighten your legs, and as you exhale, fold forward, taking your forehead, your hairline toward your knees, gazing at the tip of your nose. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose, knees together, feet together. If possible, hands together. If not, you can keep your hands apart. If you've got your hands together, really press your hands together. That will help to lift up out of your rib cage. Don't allow your lower back to arch. Take the arch out of your lower back by engaging your lower abdominal muscles, looking up at your thumbs. On your next inhalation, raise your arms up. Squeeze your glutes as you exhale, arching back. Breathing in and out through your nostrils, keep your glutes firm. Each time you inhale, try to lift out of your ribcage as you exhale, arch back deeper.
Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Hands on the floor, hairline towards your knees. Breathing in and out through your nostrils. As you inhale, engaging Mulavanda. As you exhale, releasing Mulavanda. And now on your next inhalation, step your left foot back. Left knee hovers just above the floor. Lift your chest. If you need to come on your fingertips, you can come on your fingertips. Looking at your third eye. Now take your left foot sideways with the toes turned a little inwards. Right hand on your right foot, or if that's not possible, onto your right shin. Lift your left hand up, look up at your left hand. Uttita Trikonasana. On your next inhalation, bend your right knee. As you exhale, take your left hand onto your left ankle. As you inhale, swing your left arm forward in a circular movement to lift yourself up. And then if you need to adjust your stance for the Vita Badrasana, you can lengthen your stance, making sure your right knee is above your right ankle. Turn your fingers to face up and push the heels of your hands away from each other. Now you're gazing towards the left side of the mat. Keep your left leg strong and straight. Now here, go for the same option you did the last time. Either taking your right forearm onto your right thigh, left arm over your head, or taking your right arm under your right leg. Take your left thumb inside of the other fingers, turn the arm inside out, and then take the left arm behind you so that you can grab the left wrist with your right hand, and then opening your chest out towards the sky. Gazing up at the sky. On your next exhalation, both hands onto the floor. Inhale, swing your right leg up behind you, bending your left leg, stay on the ball of your left foot, gaze between your hands, keep your right leg straight, right foot flexed. And then exhale, coming to the plank position, keeping your thighs strong, abs strong, Press your hands into the floor to lift your upper torso away from the floor. Head up, looking forward. Now inhale, knees on the floor, arch your back. Urdhva Mukha Mahajayasana. Exhale, taking your chest and chin on the floor. Looking at your third eye, hold the breath out, keep your hips high. Then inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Exhale, deeper into the asana. Looking at your third eye. Inhale, lengthening your spine by lifting your chest. Exhale, arching back. Keeping your elbows soft. On your next inhalation, Taking your belly on the floor, exhale, lift your hands off the floor. Keep looking at your third eye, keep your back muscles strong. Each time you inhale, try to lift your chest higher, exhale, stay higher.
Inhale your hands on the floor, tuck your toes under, come up onto your knees. As you exhale, round your back. At home, Kama Jaliasana, downward face cat. Hold the breath out, take your buttocks towards your heels, gazing between your hands, no breathing. Inhale your knees off the floor, exhale heels on the floor, at the whole Mukha Ashwanasana, down facing dog, gazing between your hands, eyes of the elbows facing towards each other, middle fingers pointing forwards, spine straight. On your next inhalation, stepping or jumping your feet between your hands. Exhale as you land your hips towards your heels. Then inhale, straighten your legs up. Exhale, fold over your legs. On your next inhalation, bend your knees, taking your chest onto your knees, keeping your hands on the floor. If possible, looking forward. So you have here your torso more or less parallel to the floor. Strong legs. And then very slowly sit yourself down onto the floor. Take your feet hip distance apart. And then lie down on your mat. Stretch your hands towards your feet and make sure that you're able to just touch the heels with the middle fingers. This is the measurement you take, keeping your feet parallel. Now bring your arms over your head, behind you, the palms facing upwards, your hands shoulder distance apart, and then on your next inhalation, lift your hips up, coming into the bridge position. Each time you inhale, try to lift your chest higher, as you exhale, press your feet to the floor, try to lift your hips higher. On your next exhalation, come back down on the floor, nice and slowly, vertebra by vertebra. Keeping your arms behind you on the floor as they are, keep your feet as they are, and on your next exhalation, just allow your knees to drop out to your left side, maybe your right calf muscle rests onto your left foot. If not, don't worry about it. Just keep breathing in and out, letting every breath take you deeper into the twist. Keep your hands as they are on the floor. Keep both shoulders on the floor. Feel the twisting action in your back. Inhalation, raise your knees back up to the center, and as you exhale, take your knees to your right side. If possible, your left calf muscle coming to rest on the sole of your right foot. Inhale, raise your legs back up to the center. Exhale, take your hands down either side of your hips. 
Now you have two options. If you like to go into shoulder stand, you can. If you prefer not to practice shoulder stand, just take your hands underneath your buttocks with your palms downwards and simply raise your legs up to the 90 degree angle with your feet flexed and stay there. Otherwise, you can come into that position and then taking your legs behind you so that you can easily support your back with your hands and from there raising your legs up to the sky, coming into the Sarvangasana, shoulder stand. From here, bring your legs behind your head, taking your feet onto the floor. You can keep supporting your back if you feel like you need to. Otherwise, you can take your hands onto the floor, onto your mat. Try to lift your hips up. Keep your thighs strong in the Halasana position. And then from here, very slowly, coming down vertebra by vertebra with your hands on the mat. If possible, just before you take your hips on the floor, bringing your thumbs to touch each other. And then letting your hips land on top of your hands with your palms downwards. Slowly bringing your feet all the way down towards the floor, pointing your feet as you lift up your torso. Taking your elbows more under you if you need to, and then arching your back, taking your crown of the head on the floor, gazing towards your third eye for the fish pose, Matasiyasana. here for a couple of breaths. Now stretch your arms over your head, give a good stretch through your body. Bend up your knees, roll to your left side using your left arm as a pillow. Keeping your eyes closed, slowly come up to any comfortable seated position. Joining your palms of the hands together at the center of your chest. Now we will close the glass with one time only. Inhale. Uh... Observe how do you feel following 
with this practice. Gratitude for your existence. Place your hands over your eyes. Feel the warmth of the hands going into the eyes and just allow your eyeballs to completely relax. And then open your eyes, draw your hands together. Namaste.